Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Malika. I realised I hadn't done up my full day three. What excitement happened today. I got my first delivery, I got my Niha mobile sim card. I've got a separate video about this and it meant that then I could order some food. Well, I've had many, many text messages so it was really good that I had that sim card because some of the stuff by the time I ordered it to when they went to pack it, which was like, I don't know, 20 minutes later, they realized that they didn't have stock of it, which was a shame. I really wanted the grapes, but they've given me credit anyway. I was only planning to do one order with these people because it's a Shanghai company. I paid with PayPal. Yes, <laughs> all these things because I don't have money here. I'll link that in the description box below. And I just wanted to try something local. Send me a text message saying, sorry, it's going to be two hours. I mean, that's no problem. <laughs> I'm in a room and I'm not going anywhere. I quite honestly don't mind paying to get that, but also it um, makes no difference because when the hotel decides to do deliveries to each individual room, it must be at set times. So maybe it's only once a day. So I got my SIM card and then now I know because they've actually sent me a picture of the box being opened in the front desk downstairs to say it's here. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine, like I have plenty of food, I actually didn't need to order, I just want, kind of wanted to try it because I've never ordered anything myself before in China, so this is new from the last time that I was here, so that's great, and yeah, definitely want to try it out. I ordered some bread, <laughs> so, and some cheese, I'm sure I'll do a little video tomorrow of that. Once it arrived, brought such a smile to my face, like, oh my god, I can get real food. Packaged um, goods is amazing. For it being my first time ordering, like, gee, I don't mind paying a premium for that kind of service. And to be able to, yeah, have it in English is pretty freaking remarkable. So I wish I lived in Shanghai, because then I could get this all the time. But alas, second day. Oh, today I had my first COVID test. The guy actually came right in my room, which I was very surprised about and he even spoke some English which was great he's like sit down I was in the middle of work I was in the middle of a meeting I thought it was just gonna be my temperature or something and then there's this guy charging in my room I'm like okay and sat on my bed and then I'm like oh he speaks English as he's like fluffing around with the swab things getting them out the place the plastic sterile packaging I'm like please be kind <laughs> and Again, because I thought it was just a temperature check, I didn't have my camera set up, but also because he came in the room, like, there's just no way that I could have filmed that, because also I didn't know what was happening today. He was, he was very kind, it was actually the nicest COVID test I've ever had. Then he did a throat swab as well, and again, did not try to gag me, so it was super quick and very painless. If you haven't seen my previous day two and day one video of being here, I'm trying my best to film a little bit each day just to say hey how's it going and gives me something to do because now I can edit this. I <laughs> kept up with my yoga this morning and I've kept drinking my water. I should have had another shake for dinner tonight but instead I decided to have a cookie time. I was also like kind of putting it off going oh what if my delivery like comes up what if they make an exception because I'm a foreigner and I don't know, I'm pretty sure I'm probably the only foreigner in this building, but alas, not to be. So that's fine. I'm going to jump into bed and I think I'm going to watch The Matrix Reloaded. See what all the fuss is about and all the criticisms.